Hello, my sadistic bastards, and how the hell are you? Yeah, I know, it's been a while. Look at this. She came over to say hi. How you doing, girl? Well, anyways, it's been a while since I've been on here. What do you want, he cat? Um, it's, I, uh, just want to give you all a heads up. Some of the bills that old Biden is signing. Y'all's guns ain't going to be safe. So, that's the semi-automatic uh, for high-capacity uh, clips, magazines, or whatever. Hide them. I'm probably going to get in a lot of trouble for telling you all this, but hide them. Hide everything. If you're a prepper... Hmm. Hide it. Because uh, from what I'm understanding, old Biden's coming after her shit. Now, I've seen all the guidelines. I don't have a, I don't have a firearm that that uh, goes against any of the uh, Biden's guidelines. But for those who who does hide it, before you know it, it'll be going after the guns with box clips, ten round capacity. Now, if your if your handguns are double stacked or a lot bigger, better hide that shit too. From what I'm understanding, they're going to come after our Second Amendment, which I don't see how they can. Um, but now, now they are. Uh, I'm not going to say who. Don't want to ruffle up anybody's feathers or anything. But everybody's so afraid of the big bad gun. Let me tell y'all something. Guns don't kill people. It's the jackasses who holds them. So, instead of coming after the guns, let's come after the people who's stupid enough to start out of the blue shooting up places and stuff. Go after people like that. Leave our guns and our rights alone. I will tell you, it's none of your damn business what what people has in their house if they're buying by the guidelines and laws and they're not out causing trouble or harming anybody. They don't freaking worry about what Joe Blow has in his gun closet. I would like to find a fifty caliber BMG. Can't afford it. Even if I could. It ain't Joe Biden's business. What the hell I got? Now, I'm understanding is if you sell five guns or more in a year, you're going to have to have a license. But, um, uh, how in the hell is he going to know who's selling what? If people selling their shit under the table, then how in the hell is anybody going to know? Unless they're going to start sticking undercover people out there in the neighborhood buying shit off of people so they can arrest them. But, is that called entrapment? Isn't that against the law? 
The only people that's going to be getting the wool poured over their eyes is the ones that don't know their constitution. Don't know their rights. Learn your rights. Protect your rights. Now, with that being said, I ain't sitting out there and act like a bunch of freaking idiots and start shooting people. Hell no. Don't shoot nobody. If they ain't breaking, if people ain't breaking into your house or causing, or is going to be causing death or injury to your family, then don't shoot them nobody. Don't shoot nobody. Protect your family. Protect your, your rights and everything. Protect yourself. But don't go shooting people. Don't be a dumbass. Now all these mass sh mass shootings and shit. My personal opinion is it's all been staged. They put out there on purpose by our government so they have a reason to get rid of our shit. You know, I could be wrong or whatever. <laughs> but who really knows? There's too there's so much and too much freaking secrets in our government that we ain't we'll never know the truth. They want everybody to be little drones, running scared, and uh, with their tails tucked between our legs. For, and we'll have to fully rely on Big Brother to come to our rescue. I can take care of myself. I can take care of my family myself. I don't need no one coming into the rescue. Don't need it. <laughs> now I've had people say don't draw don't do this video because it'll draw attention to you. <laughs> you know what? I'm not drawing attention. No, I don't feel that to myself. What it is, we have a government who wants to keep you scared and broken and without everything that you need. So they can keep you under their thumb and their foot's on your neck. Now, I'm not going to run scared. And not a damn person, no man's going to put their foot on my damn neck. Ain't happening. I work my ass off every day. My wife works her ass off every day to take care of this family. Together, we do pretty good. But... You want to sit there and tell me what I can and can't own? That's what I got to give you. I own what I want. Whenever I want. I'm not going to have my constitutional rights stepped on and taken away from me. I don't break the law. I'm a taxpayer. I work my ass off daily. And I abide by the law. I support the law. But not when the law is uh, breaking the rules itself. No, I don't think the law should have enough uh, say to go in and just for the hell of it, to harm somebody or kill somebody just for the hell of it. No. But if, if I'm out causing trouble, breaking and entering, stealing, robbing, drugs, or murdering or whatever, by all means, come and arrest my sorry ass. And if I fight you, bust my damn head. But if I ain't doing shit to you, don't give me no grief. Don't give me no trouble. 
It's not too much for an American citizen to ask for from its government or its state. And if you have do have laws that allow the cops that does call shit like this, fire their ass. Arrest them and sue them. They are really good cops out there. I'm not saying all of them, but they are a lot of really good cops. And I feel that they don't get paid enough to do their job. The ambulance drivers, the fire departments, the people, our military, our people that risk their life daily to take care of your ass. They should be paid a lot better and treated a lot better. But our government, so far, the only thing they care about is the almighty dollar lying in their big ass pockets. They want to keep people you and like you and me broke as a joke and slaving away at our jobs, raking and scraping just to make ends meet. And that's not okay. Then you get some some old bastard out there trying to Take what little shit that we have that we worked our ass off to get legally from a store who sells it, does a full background check on you, and you pay your hard-earned money to get. It's wrong. It is wrong. Now, me personally... I'm not a political person. I don't give a crap who runs or who gets president. I'm not a political person at all. But a person becomes president, no matter if you're Republican or Democrat, I feel that you should uphold the law and do your job to the best of your ability. And not try to not try to cause trouble for the American citizens. Take away our rights, our freedoms. That's that's wrong. Now I have never been arrested. I've been a quarter time or two, a few times, but I have never been arrested a day in my life. I never spent a second in jail. I don't do drugs, I don't sell drugs, I don't drink, and I won't buy alcohol for anybody. Now, I do chew a little bit of snuff. You watch, they'll try to take that away from me too. Um, my house, we play a lot of board games, we watch TV. And uh, with that being said, it's my house, my rules. And uh, again, I, I don't own no illegal firearms, nor do I want them. I like to hunt. I like the fish and everything, but but how I see it, if a person can afford to go out and buy whatever gun they want, and they do it legally, and um, they don't cause anybody any trouble or any harm, they don't act like a complete idiot with the firearm, they can keep it. They take it in their house, and they keep it in their house, and if they want to shoot it, take it to a firing range, or, or if they own a big bunch of property, have, make their own firing range. I don't see what business it is of anybody, including the government. Now, I highly doubt that there's, well, I don't know if anybody owns, uh, was it, uh, full, full automatics? I don't think you buy around here on something like that. They know for one, they know that's a lot. Of, that's a long time in prison. 
Two, who in the hell can afford to shoot something like that? And three, if they do own something like it and they have the license and they've done it all legally with their own money and stuff, then what business is it of yours? Uh, I am, I'm, I'm for guns. I'm for people who wants to own them and do it legally. If the firearm isn't stolen, if the people ain't out raising hell with it, or causing injury to anybody or themselves, then leave them alone. Leave them alone. I am down to two shotguns now. And I intend on keeping them. I ain't paying no dag on two hundred dollars a year on them either. I ain't doing it. That's bullshit. Two hundred dollars a year. Now money's been pretty tight since this coronavirus hit and everything. But, um, yeah, I feel the government should have a lot more things to do and worry about than what people were shooting, what people has in their house. You know, I sure feel like if I want to take, I don't know, an M16 out, which I would love to own one, but I know they're against the law and I can't. But for, just just saying, I'd love to have be able to take an M16 out and shoot it or deer hunt or whatever, target practice, whatever. And I should be able to do so legally without being harassed. But unfortunately, we got too many people running scared, whining and crying. Oh, the big black gun. Oh, there's, I'm scared of it. I'm terrified. Well, go home. Hide underneath your bed and cry a little bit. All this bunch of boo-hooers and naysayers and cowards. Yeah, cowards. Out there can... If you don't like guns, you don't like anything like it, then don't own one. Don't own one. Simple as that. You don't like a gun, just don't own one. If you don't want people owning guns, then stay home. Hide underneath your bed. Say a couple prayers and, and pray the guns don't jump out of people's corners of their house and go bouncing down the road. Because I've owned guns my whole entire life and not once have it jumped out of a corner and start shooting. Now, again, it's not the gun's fault. It's some deranged person out there to get a gun and start being a complete idiot with it. That's the idiot, not the gun. Uh, everybody's afraid of the AR-15. Oh, it's scary. Don't own one. You don't, you scared of them? Don't own one. They're not an assault rifle. An assault rifle, look it up. What are the qualifications of assault rifle? What makes a gun an assault rifle? Now, you buy an AR-15 Alva store, it's not going to be autom full automatic. It's semi. That means you squeeze trigger one boom, 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 boom. Compared to a full auto, you squeeze the trigger and bam, 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 bam. Really? Stop being a chicken shit. Go suck your thumb. Crawl underneath your bed. 
Worry about you and not everybody else around you. Now, an AR-15, the projecto in it is about that long. Well, about that long. About bigger around as a pencil, maybe smaller. Everybody's scared of it. Now, you get a shotgun with deer slugs. It shoots a slug that big around. About that long. Out of it, which calls makes a big hole going in and even a bigger hole coming out. But I feel like afraid of that. Uh, 30 out 6. It's a big bullet. And yes, you can give it off for a semi automatic and it will do even more damage. People's afraid of the AR 15 because it looks scary. Just how stupid is people? Just how dumb can a person be? Oh, but it's a weapon of war. Any gun can be a weapon of war. Any gun. Take a twenty two rifle and make it a weapon of war. But it looks scary. Well, it takes a clip. One of those many guns that takes clips. But they are scary looking. Man. People need to strap on their big girl panties. Or the big boy panties or whatever. Use an extra tampon or whatever. Stop being so damn scared of everything. How in the world have you made it this long in life? Being this freaking scared. You know, there's many psychiatrists out there. Go go get you one. Something wrong with it up here. Anyways, I know my outburst here is probably going to get me in trouble. Probably going to cause me to lose some subscribers. I hope not. I really do. But... Everybody's pussyfooting around, thinking Uncle Sam's going to help them out. And Uncle Sam don't give two shits about us. He don't. He only cares about the almighty dollar that comes into his pocket. Now, I'm not anti-government. I'm not anti-country or anti-anything. I love my country. I love America. Americans want to straighten their ass up. So, I ain't giving up shit. And again, I don't have anything illegal. Couple shotguns. Um, if I want to go deer hunting, put me a slug in it, get me a deer. If I want squirrel or rabbit, put regular shot in it, got me a squirrel or rabbit. It also doubles into a home defense rifle. A shot rifle. Shotgun. Well, anyways, thank you for listening to my outburst and me pitching the fit and about everything. And just, I'm just so sick of hearing these crybabies on, oh. This gun and that gun, I'm so scared. They shouldn't own it. It shouldn't be allowed. People just need to nut up. Just nut up. Stop being freaking cowards. I don't know. Well, anyways, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, if 
you haven't already, please do so. I really appreciate it if you did. And hit the bell at the bottom too, so you can see update on my videos. I haven't been doing very many here lately. I'm trying to find time. I'm worn out right now. I've been busting tail in seven days a week. So, again, like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have already, thank you so very much. Um, get a chance to run over to my buddy's channel, Shane Space 717 Check his content out. He has really cool stuff. Um, thank you all for watching. Night Squatch Prepper.